Racism never uh, remains uh, the same uh, at all um, historical moments. The kind of racisms that we are encountering today are quite different from uh, the racisms with uh, which we feel most comfortable. For well, Negro, there is no difference in the North and the South. There's just you no know, a difference in the way they, in a way, they castrate you. But that's but the fact of the castration is the American fact. And what is that? Are you any good? Are you still strong? Are you still smart? Are you still like yourself? I'm not a victim. I refuse to be one. I'm not a nigger. I'm a man. The question you've got to ask yourself, the white population of this country has got to ask itself. If you can only be tall because somebody's on their knees, then you have a serious problem. And my feeling is white people have a very, very serious problem. And they should start thinking about what they can do about it. It is entirely up to the American people and our representatives. It is entirely up to the American people whether or not they're going to face and deal with and embrace this stranger whom they malign so long. What white people have to do is try to find out in their own hearts why it was necessary to have a nigger in the first place. If I'm not the nigger here, and you invented him, you the white people invented him, then you gotta find out why.